hello everyone um and welcome back to to dine on self be true welcome back to this channel i hope that all is well um i just wanted to briefly come on here as i just felt the nudging of the holy spirit and as just as i'm looking at my own life my own circumstances um i just wanted to come on and briefly encourage you with this word that you are closer than you think that you are closer than you think the enemy is doing all that he can y'all to distract us to to cause confusion to try to cause confusion to try to make us give up to try to make us give in to try to make us believe differently about our circumstances to try to make us believe that um that god is not going to come through that our circumstances our life doesn't look like what he said and because it doesn't look like what he said we might as well do what we think is best basically lean to our own understanding and try to figure out our own plans and our own uh promises on our own but god says do not be weary and well doing but continue to trust him to continue to be still before him continue to um desire him above everything to desire him y'all to get in this in a, in a heart posture of of submission and surrender that no matter what this situation looks like god you are still faithful god you are still good god you deserve all of my praise all of my all of the glory and you deserve um you deserve my heart basically that even though the situation is not happening the way that we think it should happen or should have happened um or the fact that it's unraveling or unfolding let me say i'm sorry unfolding in a different kind of way than what we thought that somehow god um didn't keep his word but he is keeping his word god is a man who keeps his word who is a covenant keeping god so in this season of 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 us who um god has promised kingdom marriages too or we are in a process of waiting on our kingdom spouses god is saying do not give up do not uh become weary do not um allow the tactics of the enemy to thank you holy spirit um allow the tactics of the enemy to basically deter us from staying on this faith path from staying on this path of believing god from from staying on this path of of believing that his promises are true and this this should be a confirmation in somebody's spirit if if it's not if it has not already happened it will happen for you just as it has happened for me that god saw um my weariness recently god saw how much faith i've been having and how much faith a lot of us have been having in these promises and how we have been relentless y'all we have been relentless in holding fast to god that despite the distractions of the enemy and despite um the lies of the enemy despite all of the attacks and the plots against us against our own minds but even against our kingdom spouses um we have remained faithful to god we have remained faithful in believing that god you're going to come through for me you're going to do what you said you're going to do and because he has felt our weariness he has felt our our um yeah our weariness he came in to give um a confirmation he came in to show me uh, megan you're not um you're not hearing me wrong like you're hearing me correctly the, what you are believing me for continue to believe me for because it is true it is only a trick of the enemy to make you think that you should give up on this promise the enemy wants you to think that but but continue to remain faithful to me because i'm going to do exactly what i told you i was going to do plus more plus more not only are we waiting for kingdom marriages y'all a lot of us and even some of the other prophetic voices that i watch on here have said the same things that the, that the the time is now all of the things that we have been waiting for uh the assignments and the plans and the and the goals and the dreams that we have had but but seem like they never came to fruition god has been saying the same thing to me that because now is the time 
It wasn't the time before because I was prepping you and I was preparing you for this moment. But now is the time. So it's not just about kingdom marriages. It's about a full circle for a lot of us right now. But God, specifically about kingdom marriages, wants us to continue to trust him and to hold on and to allow him to lead the way. We have tried to figure figure this out for so long. Like, how is this going to work out? How is God going to do this? And we have tried to even help God to some degree, but God is saying, let me take the lead on this. Allow me to do this. Take your hands off the wheel and allow me to to direct how things are going to flow. It may not make sense to us right now, but sooner, sooner than later, I believe it, that it's going to, con it's going to make sense because he's showing, um, if not all of it, he's showing parts of the pieces more now than ever. But God, like I said, he gave me a confirmation and he showed me that, Megan, you're on the right track. Stay where you are. Don't move from the path that I have you on. So if God hasn't given you a confirmation and he's been giving us your confirmation after confirmation after confirmation throughout this process. You know, I've been in this process uh, um, some years now. I would, I, you know, should I say God? I've been in this process about five to six years now. And and to be honest with you, I that's why I know that this promise comes um, or came from the Holy Spirit, came from God himself. Because me, if something, I am a very impatient person. When something doesn't go the way that I want it to go, usually, right? When things have not gone the way that I wanted them to go, I didn't happen in the time span that I thought I just, I moved on. I'm like, you know what, God, maybe that's not what you wanted me to do and but but it has been nothing but the holy spirit y'all who has given confirmation after confirmation who has basically grounded me who has basically say who has basically said i need you to model the fruit of the spirit which is patience and steadfastness and i believe without a shadow of a doubt that if it was not from god i would have given up on this a long time ago and there would have been no confirmation whatsoever but recently because like i said of our weariness god is going to bring forth confirmations to let you know you are in the right place you are not waiting on a lie from the enemy you are waiting for God to do the impossible and sometimes the the impossible will 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 put us in a place where we have to put all our all all of us on the altar all of us all of us has to be on the altar our heart our timing our perspective the you know the way we think things should happen all of us all i don't know if i'm saying that correctly but every part of us has to be on the altar so that god can do the impossible thing through us and for us and in us because when it's all said and done y'all when we are able to give our testimony there's nothing that we will be able to say that this was through our own strength this was through our own understanding this was through something that we conjured up it will not be nothing will ever be able to be said that way it will only be said this is by the grace of god because there is nothing that is impossible for God to do. This is only this only happened by the strength of God, through the power of God, through the word of God. This is only God's doing. This was none of our doing. So I just wanted to quickly come on here and be obedient to the spirit of God to encourage someone to not give up, to not give up to not allow what you see what you hear what you experience to make you feel like you are in the wrong place or you are waiting for a counterfeit the devil is a liar the devil is a liar continue to pray continue to fast continue to seek god continue to spend time with god that has been my prayer god help me to spend more time with you but to go in um, um, and to, to have a deeper and a more intimate connection with God because there's so many things that, that is happening y'all and so many things that are meant to 
distract us that it's so important for us to be connected to God. So important for us to be connected to him in a much deeper way. And so I pray that this is this word encourages you. And I pray that in this season that you will not give up, that you will continue to remain steadfast. God reminds me of this scripture. Um, it's I believe it's in either Psalms or Proverbs. And he says that he foils the plans of the wicked, that the enemy has a plan for us. And it looks like the enemy's plan is prospering. But I want you to know that God is with us and God is with you. God is for you. And he is foiling the plans of the wicked. When I went to go define what that word for you meant, it meant that he unravels them. So everything that the enemy is trying to do to stop the plans, to create delays, it is not going to work. It is not going to happen because God is behind the scenes unraveling his plans. Okay, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And that in this season, we are walking out victorious. Everything that he said that he would do, everything that he said we would have, everything that he said um, who about who we were, it is true. It is true, says God. If there is any doubt in your mind right now about who God has called you to be, of who God is call, uh, calling you to, the devil is a liar. You are all that God has said you are, and you will receive all in this life and the life to come. Okay, I believe it for you. Um, in this life to come. So I just wanted to come on here and release this word to you. I just I felt this nudging in my spirit, like I said, but also because of what I am experiencing in my own life. I want you to understand that we are all in this together and, and that this is not for the faint of heart. This, this is for individuals, excuse me, who is being tested and tried and pruned because God has something so much greater in store for us and so much greater. It's, it's all connected to his kingdom. It's all connected to his kingdom. So understand the devil would not be fighting you. The devil would not be causing all of these distractions or not just you, but us. He would not be fighting us this hard if we were not closer than we thought. If we were not closer to the promise, he would not be fighting us, y'all. So I pray that this blessed you. I pray that this encouraged you. Heavenly Father, God, I pray that this word will go forth as you have sent it out to do exactly what you needed to do. God, I am just your vessel. I come to you asking for forgiveness of any sin in my heart at this point in time. And I pray, Lord God, that you will give your people the strength to hold on and to remain steadfast, Father God, to not get weary in well-doing, but to continue to believe and trust that you are a God of your word, that you are a covenant-keeping God. And Father God, I pray that you will continue to humble Humble us under your mighty hand and to recognize that these promises are not just about us. These promises are for your glory and for your kingdom. I give you all of the praise, God, all of the glory, all of the honor. And I come against every demonic attack against your people. I come against every demonic attack against the reconnections of, of our kingdom relationships and kingdom spouses, God, kingdom marriages. I come against every demonic attack sent, God, to kill, steal, and destroy our faith, our peace, our joy. But God, you have come that we would have life and have life more abundantly and so god i thank you for this word and i thank you that this word will encourage will bring life and life more abundantly in the hearts of your people god shine your light in our hearts that we may be all that you have called us to be i pray god that only hallelujah jesus that only your will would be done on earth yeah only your will would be done on earth father god as it is in heaven. It is in the mighty name of Jesus that I pray this prayer. Blessings to you all, family.